Shintai a grasshopper um, with three different foam, three different pieces of foam. So to start off with, I'm just going to get my thread on my hook. This is a size 8 2 by long dry fly hook. And uh, I'm going to get the thread, black floss thread, and get it right here to the back of the hook, just like that. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I've got three little strips of foam here, two gray ones and one yellow one. And I'm going to go with the yellow being on the bottom. You can go with any colors you would like. These are just the colors that I that I use. A lot of times I'll use a tan color as well because this, this fly imitates a grasshopper. So take all three of them and get them stacked nice and neat. They're about a quarter inch wide. And this is a, these are about an inch and a half long. That's about the length that I'm, I'm going to use for this. So set them on top of the hook. Get there in the back, and I'm going to tie it off. So when the first wrap is kind of loose until I get it all the way around. And you see me kind of pull tight. That foam flares a little bit. I'm going to do about five or six tight wraps right there. First part where you tie the fly, where you tie the foam onto the hook. I like to do it fairly tight. That way this doesn't want to twist as much. It's still going to, you can kind of see that it is, but it's not going to twist as much when you start working it. Okay, so now I'm just going to work my way up this fly. So I'm going to bring my thread, I like to bring my thread over the top, kind of using my fingernail here to stop where I want it to go, where the thread's going to, my next wrap is going to be. So, okay, once I get a wrap around, I'm going to pull a little bit tight, maybe get just two or three wraps there. Call that good. And then I'm going to move on to the next section. So I'm just building little segments of, of the body of the, of the fly here. So again, my segments, as I work towards the eye of the hook, my segments should either get be the same size or maybe just get progressively larger, however you prefer. Okay. Again, we're looking pretty good there. Next one. I'm going to make a little bit, maybe just a tad larger, but not a lot. Okay. Actually, it looks like it's about the same size. If not, it's maybe a little smaller. All right. So now I've got a little bit of, a little bit of distance up to the eyelet. So my next wrap is going to be rather, it's going to be kind of large. I'm going to wrap all the way up to the front. And I'm going to tie this fly off right up there by the eyelet. So I'm going to get that wrap on there, pull pretty tight, quite a few wraps, just like that. And you'll notice you can still see the eyelet of the hook, because that's where we're going to be able to need to tie the fly line on there when we fish with this fly, so we've got to leave a little bit of room. Now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to go back to the segment that I worked earlier, so right there. All right. Next step is I'm going to put some wing on uh, the grasshopper wing on the back of this fly. What I've chosen to use today is some web wing. There's a lot of different synthetics you can use. I'm just going to cut this web wing, cut a little uh, segment out of it, and use that for this hopper fly. So I'm going to snip. Maybe I like to try to use the, the wing material. I cut a little bit wider than the foam, but not much. Maybe a little bit more than. A little bit more than a quarter of an inch, maybe. Uh, I hate to even give it a size, but a little bit wider than the foam. I lay my web wing right over the back. I'm going to tie it off. I think I'm going to back off a little bit. There we go. Tie that off right there. Okay, so that'll serve as my wing. Of course, I'm going to snip that somewhere up in here, but for now, we're just going to leave it there. Now, with these three tags sticking forward, this top one, I'm not going to use the top one. I snipped that one off. The other two, I'm going to grab. We're going to fold it back to where I tied off the wings. We're going to tie that. One thing I really like about using this, the yellow on the bottom of the fly, is then it ends up on the top. Sometimes this fly can be somewhat difficult to see because you, I don't use elk hair or uh, poly yarn as for a wing. So this yellow sometimes shows up a little bit better when we're trying to see it. All right, we're almost done. Next thing I'm going to use is some, uh, some rubber legging material. 
and this is just striped yellow. Uh, I use I use various different types of rubber legs, but we'll use this one for this fly. Sometimes I use black, sometimes I use white. I cut one I cut one strand out and I folded it over itself. Now I'm just going to snip that. So essentially I've got two. And I take those two and lay them right on top. I'm going to tie them off right in the middle so they're about halfway, half the distance of each of them on both sides. My first three wraps here are pretty loose. So I did three loose wraps. After I do those three loose wraps, I grab the wing, I grab the legs, move them to the side of the fly, just like that. Now that they're on the side of the fly, now I'm going to tighten them down. You see them, you'll see them kind of work their way back, usually there. And uh, kind of grab that one a little too much. Okay, <clears throat> that looks pretty good. Now I don't need this quite as long as it is, so I'm going to snip that right about there. Grab the wing material. I like to pinch it like this. And then I come in with my scissors and I cut it at an angle like this. Gives it kind of that grasshopper wing uh, cut when you're done. So, all right, last step is to whip finish this thing and we're done. A pretty simple fly. You can get more creative with the legs if you want. Sometimes I'll, I'll tie this back one. I'll, I'll cut it a little longer and then I'll tie it in a knot so it looks like the long jumping legs of a grasshopper. Um, but sometimes when I do that, I notice the fly doesn't sit quite as well in the water. So I prefer to leave them just the way they are. Whip finish the fly. And snip it. <clears throat> so there it is. It's a little uh, yellow and gray, kind of a triple decker foam grasshopper.